As a church, you want to get your message out to as many people no matter where they are. And this means being on multiple platforms. But with streaming software, that's kind of hard to do until now. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a software to not only stream your service and your live streams to multiple places, also the streaming software is now baked in. So that's two services for the price of one low cost bill. I'm going to talk about that and show you how to use it right now. Let's go. Waiting for perfection never got anything done. You just have to start. Hey guys, my name is Justin Nava and I am one third of the Church Media Guys of Church Training Academy where we show you and your church how to use and exploit technology to reach more people and further the gospel. If you've never been on this channel before, we put out new videos every week to help you accomplish your mission and vision. Hit the subscribe button and don't miss another video. Hit the alert bell as well. We've got a lot of people that we want to serve and a lot of people we want to reach and they're in multiple places. Specifically, we have a lot of churches and leaders that want to be both on Facebook and YouTube. Now you can do that easily with the service called Restream. We use Restream all the time, every week at the Church Media Guys. On Tuesdays, we broadcast to one place, but on Wednesdays, we broadcast to six places. And Restream does it so easily, so we just send one video out, they replicate it, and send it to all the destinations. You can send it to YouTube, Facebook, you can also send it to Twitch, Periscope, and also multiple Facebook groups, multiple Facebook pages. It's super simple, super easy to use. Restream Restream works with most streaming software. You just plug it in to go straight to Restream or you use their RTMP server, which is easy to set up. But if you don't have a streaming software, that's okay because now Restream has their own streaming software baked in. It's a browser-based software. So you just pay Restream your license every month and you get the streaming software basically for free. We get a lot of questions about how to add overlays and graphics to our streams, even videos. And with Restream Live Studio, you can do just that. You can have all the elements of a professional live stream done for you in the browser no matter what computer you're using it's super simple and i want to show you not only how to multicast but also how to use the live studio let's go to my computer and take a look so here's what it looks like when you sign in to restream this is the home page essentially you'll see a lot of stuff on this account our account because this is actually the account that we use for church media guys we have all of our channels here that we use and this is how you basically go live to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So for example, if I wanted to go live to our Facebook page and our YouTube account, boom, I can activate this and automatically it will stream to both of these platforms. So I send one stream out and they duplicate it and send two out. And you can see on some shows we're running five or six uh, streams at the same time. And it's fantastic because we only have to do one thing. For right now, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you the studio of the actual how you can live stream within the browser. I'm going to do this with a test page we set up called Bill and Ted's Excellent Church. So don't be confused here. It's not an actual church. This is just a test page, which we recommend you have. That way, if you make any mistakes, no one really sees it, but you can go ahead and play in a live environment. So to get to the studio to record, you're going to go up here to this little camera icon. And that's going to bring up the studio. You're going to give it permission to add your camera, and then you'll see your camera here. Now, this does not just work for the webcam. In fact, my webcam is right here just off camera. I am actually using a Canon Vixia camera. So get your camera, get your capture card, plug it into your computer. You can actually use a real camera, meaning you can use this in your church live stream. It's really cool. Let me show you around here and uh, uh, show you what the studio looks like. It's not daunting at all. And in fact, you can do a whole lot of stuff in here that you need uh, for your church. Just basic streaming stuff that makes your stuff look really good. Okay, so uh, we got the chat here. I'll show you how this works once we actually go live. Um, you're going to see the chat of people commenting across your channels. Uh, you've got captions where you can put uh, calls to action and lower thirds and all that. Uh, you've got graphics. You can just upload your own graphics. The great thing is they've got videos now. I'll show you all this. And then the setup. So I've already got the title set up, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just put in a title. So I would say, is God bigger than the boogeyman? I've got it copied here. And then I've got a little description here. This is by no means a case study on what makes a good description, but I'm going to update that. All right. And then once I'm ready, I'm going to go live and give it just a second. And then boom, you see up here in the top 
left, uh, I am live. There will be a little bit of a delay. That's okay. That's normal. I'm going to show you the cool stuff, the stuff that we're all here for. We, we, we really want to wrap, we really want to wrap our stream to look good and make it presentable and decorated. And the graphics part of Restreamio Studio uh, does all that for you. So you can upload your logo so normally when you would stream you've got this little powered by restreamio here but when you've got the pro account like we do you can actually hide that and you can display your own logo now this is my church i don't actually go to bill and ted's excellent church uh, but this is my church now you can use a transparent background but since my background here is actually so busy i just put it on a white background so you can have your logo on the stream bring it up take it off you can see i just hit a hide button and it's right gone you also have overlays. So if I wanted to add a nice frame, maybe I want to have a nice frame while we're worshiping, I can click this and boom, I've got a nice frame here all around. This little bleeding area is normal. That's I designed that to be in there, so don't freak out. Um, but I might want to change a couple things and I can easily do that. Now, when the sermon comes up and we've actually got sermon slides, you can upload the slides as images and now you can actually show your slides on the stream. Um, you don't have to move the camera and point. Oh, hey, you can still see me right there. Uh, you don't have to move the camera and point it at the screen. That just looks bad for everyone. You can just simply export your slides and whatever program you're using into images and then just upload them into Restream and you've got all your slides right here. All right, um, so next would be video. That's super simple. I've got a video uploaded here. It's just a little intro that we do and all I'm gonna do is just click on it and it's going to start discipleship rolling. happens in relationships. Okay, now it does look a little choppy here because Ministry I am screen recording this. Teams. It will not look so choppy when you actually run it live. Resources but you've got people, the video going on buildings. and it looks really good. Of course, that plays through and everything. We also have the ability to have a background. So when I cut my video, it's a black screen. But I can actually do a background, for example, a sermon graphic. And then boom, whenever I turn my video off, Right here, you can turn it off here. The background shows up. So this way, if I ever need to cut the video or for whatever reason, cut the feed, it doesn't just go to black and people are wondering, what's happening? And it doesn't end the stream either. I'm just gonna turn my video off and we've got a nice splash screen here and it looks really good. All right. Um, you could also do lower thirds in the forms of your participant names if you've got if you got speakers coming up. However, you'll notice that in the graphics here and in the captions that I'm about to show you, the colors don't match the graphic, right? Because we're running this kind of bluish purple, and I really want it to be purple, so I can actually change the color, the primary color of my graphics, and I'm going to shift them more purple. I should have copied the actual code, but that's okay. So now I've got nice purple, and you'll actually see this come up in the captions, uh, or what we would also call the lower thirds. I already wrote this one out, and I'm going to show it, and boom, visit our website to find a group near you, link in description. You notice how the emojis work too? I think that's really cool. I think that's a good touch. And of course, the purple matches because I set the purple color as my primary color. If I wanted to add something here, I could add, um, for example, let's grab, uh, let's say John 316 for God. So love the world, yada, yada, yada. And then I can add that as a caption and I can have that as a lower third. Okay, so you can actually, if, ahead of time, you can actually bring in your verses if you don't have an overlay or copy paste them from a website like Bible Gateway and you can have your verses on screen. It's, and it was that easy. I just did it right here. I didn't prep that one. I just typed it right out. Okay, or you could copy paste. All right, let me show you the chat because I think the chat is so cool. So right here, I'm gonna chat and even though it says restream, um, I can actually, when I do it from Restream, it's going to broadcast it as Bill and Ted's Excellent Church. If I'm streaming to multiple platforms, I could say I only want to chat to the Facebook audience. And then if I'm streaming to YouTube as well, I can actually talk to just the YouTube audience. So I could say, hello church, where are you watching from? It's a great question to ask at the beginning of your stream, by the way. And those watching will actually see that chat come up. It's really, really cool. So um, now I got the chat. I got the, as you can see here that on the uh, Facebook that it went through and I can see it on my live stream. Now I'm going to chat back as myself and you'll actually see it here come up in the screen 
There you go, right there, just the Nava. There's me, I'm watching my own live stream. And so without having Windows open, I've got YouTube on this screen and Facebook on this screen and I've got Twitch up on my phone and I'm watching the comments. I can actually talk, chat, answer questions, respond, post links, all from the unified chat window over here. I mean, it's just so easy, so simple. Did you notice that I can show comments? So for example, let me hide this. I want to show, I want to ask my people, hey, where are you watching from? I can actually put this on the screen. Hello, church, where are you watching from? And people will see that on the screen. So even if they don't have the comments up, they will see that you're, you, hey, where are you watching from? Okay, bet I better answer, right? Um, I can also do this with user comments. So let me add a comment here. Okay, boom. So I just put a comment here and I can actually show that comment. Okay, if I need prayer, pray for my mom. I can put that up on the screen. Some people might say happy birthday. Some people might say pray for me. Some people might have a question. You can put any comment up on the screen, wherever it comes from. It's super simple, it's super easy. It's so much fun to play with. And this is the key to getting great engagement with your live streams. So that's, that's live studio. That's restream almost in a nutshell. Turn on your destinations. Add your graphics, add your captions ahead of time if you got them. If not, you can add them on the fly. You saw me write a caption. You saw me you know, post the verse here that we might want to use. And then, of course, you can chat and engage and grow your live stream by being involved with the people that are watching. It's super simple, super easy. We love Restream. We use it at Church Media Guys every week. And the live stream studio, you don't have to worry about any software, any installations, any updates, even what device you're using. You're on a computer, you're in the browser. You can start streaming professionally and easily well, all with the same Restream account. So you've got one small bill to multi-stream and now you've got your streaming software built in with that in the browser no matter what your device is super simple we love it if you want to give it a try there's a link down in the description go try it out for yourself see for yourself and as always use this and everything you learn to go change lives